The Auburn-Penn State game is one of the biggest, if not the biggest game this weekend. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the Penn State defense and what Bo Nix can expect and the Auburn offense can expect going up against the Penn State defense. We've only got some film of Penn State's game against Wisconsin, and while uh, the offenses are different, uh, you, it, it, I think it's going to give us a good look at what you can potentially expect from the Penn State defense because there's still times Wisconsin goes into spread. There's times Wisconsin has it's under center with 12 personnel, 20 personnel, and there are times this like like Wisconsin that Auburn uh, is in spread formation, uh, 10 personnel, 11 personnel. So there are similarities, even though the offense is different as far as the personnel package, there are similarities, and so we try to make it. A, we try to get the Wisconsin offense as close as possible to the Auburn offense. At least find the plays that are close as possible to the Auburn offense. But before we dive into the film and actually look at the the Penn State defense and what you can expect, I just wanted to encourage all to consider subscribing to our channel if you like any quarterback related content. So the big things in Washington Penn State's defense is. They get pressure on the quarterback. They have a very, very good front seven. And then the back end, they're going to try to disguise what they're doing pre-snap. But a lot of times it's going to be very similar post-snap, but they do a lot of disguising uh, pre-snap. So look for some cover three, some cover one. And then usually more times than not, they have one up top safety after the snap, even if they're showing two safeties before. So we're going to look at the uh, the Penn State defense against Wisconsin, whenever Wisconsin's in gun and in spread formation. And then we're, at the end of the video, there's a few clips that we're going to look at whenever uh, Wisconsin Wisconsin is under center and more of a 12 personnel, uh, so you can kind of see how the Penn State defense attacks both formations. And then as far as Bo Nix goes, get the ball out quickly because they're going to get some pressure, and of course take care of the football, but understand that this, but excuse me, I can't talk, understand that what Penn State is showing pre-snap isn't necessarily what they're going to be doing post-snap, but if you understand what they're in post-snap, uh, what, what they are in post snap, then that is where uh, Bo Nix can make good quality sound decisions. So let's go ahead and dive into the film of Penn State's defense against Wisconsin. So here we got Wisconsin in, in, in a spread formation here, right? Trips to the left, 11 personnel. I Maybe mean, we got one back, one tight end here. Then we got trips with three wide receivers here. So uh, then a spread formation here, and we got Penn State going to be in a cover one man under concept. So they got one safety for all the up top uh, balls and then we got man right here and we got man with the tight end and man with the running back as well and so we're going to see Penn State going to have seven in the box they do bring one backer here and they get pressure they get the sack from the right side of the field e either the sack it's either a strip sack or it's an incomplete pass I forgot what they actually called regardless they got pressure on the Wisconsin quarterback here and so they got a lot of talent in the front seven Penn State does and they'll definitely be aiming to get a lot of pressure and, and it's going to be a lot more uh, defenders in the backfield often than uh, like eight than Akron was and so I think for Bo Nix realizing that knowing that getting the ball out quick is going to be ideal it's going to be crucial look at number 17 able just to beat the left tackle easily there again we got man concepts here they bring five and get the sack on the quarterback there so here we got a third and nine for Wisconsin so a passing down and we see there in a spread formation again 11 personnel one back one tight end here and we're going to see Penn State only has one up top safety even though pre-snap they got two right so pre-snap they got two uh, at the, at the heck of the ball the snap of the ball uh, the, the safety rolls down so this may be considered cover one robber potentially where you know they try to bait the quarterback into throwing or it could be a, a zone concept here and then just a straight man concept to the field side or to the right side of the field uh, both are going to be considered field side so we're going to see Wisconsin has a uh, what is it called? They, they, they were on a screen right here. I almost uh, lost my train of thought. They were on a screen here. Uh, Penn State is expecting it though, right? But they're going towards the running back. They actually are able to do, do a nice creative screen and get blocked there. Uh, but good play by Penn State to recover. But still, so you, in, in just that right there, you see the discipline of the Penn State defense. They expect the screen. It was just a very creative play by Wisconsin, but they expect the screen on third and nine. Very athletic here. Right, so they expect the screen, even though it's just a creative play for the Wisconsin um, offense right there. So just for the Auburn offense and, and Bo Nix in general, knowing that, 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 that the front seven can kind of make or break the game there, uh, just another example of them being not just talented but smart. So we've got third and 12 for Wisconsin. So again, another passing down here, uh, spread look, right? You've got three receivers, and then uh, you probably call this 20 personnel. He'll go ahead and be a back. If you want to call him a tight end, go 11, sure. But regardless, they got two uh, offensive players in the backfield with the quarterback here. And so we're going to see Penn State in a good cover three here. But notice we've seen cover three before uh, in these previous videos, and uh, several times it looks different, right? Sometimes it's 
it's traditional both corners and the deep in the uh, safety attempts it looks like you have almost like a umbrella uh, uh, up top right where the, each guy is backing into uh, their own third here of the field and so um, again just con Penn State Similar defense that they've been playing all game, but showing different. They're going to get pressure again on the quarterback. I think they bring five here, right? Yeah, they bring five here. They get pressure on the quarterback here. Boom. The, receiver, uh, the DB, uh, not the DB, the backer coming from out there. Gets pressure on him, forces uh, a throw right there, and then Penn State is able to keep it in front. So, again, we saw cover three, one, two, three, and then we saw Penn State get pressure on the Wisconsin quarterback. So, again, Auburn quarterback, Bo Nix, getting the ball out quick, recognizing what the defense is trying to do and, and not getting fooled by the pre-snap look and understanding what the defense is going to do post-snap. So again, Wisconsin and trips formation to the right side of the field. Spread look, 11 personnel, one back, one tight end on line scrimmage here. And we're going to see, it's going to be a, a cover three again for Penn State. Either cover three uh, to the field side, and then it might be man to the boundary side here. Uh, so he's got several different um, responsibilities, I'm, uh, I'm assuming. But like we've seen in other videos, he's coming in for the run. When he sees it's a pass, he goes into his uh, his pet his zone there so he's getting the tight end here and we're going to see Penn State had seven in the box right and so again they're trying to get pressure on the quarterback good job by the quarterback getting the ball out quick because pressure is coming but they give him enough time gets the ball out quick and I, Wisconsin is actually able to get a first down there so if we look at it real quick just like the other videos that we've seen in the past in the past they disguise it but they go back to what they usually do each play right third third either third or he's taken man with the tight end here and their bread and butter, butter is getting pressure on the quarterback their front seven being so talented that we talked about before good job getting the ball out quick so Bo Nix getting the ball out quick like that completing some balls like that uh, then forcing them to maybe slow down their pass rush uh, and then you get your offense rolling but a good example of how to beat that defense right there So here we have the Wisconsin quarterback under center, and uh, we've seen Bo, Nick, Bo Nix, of course, be under center and uh, and gun in the first few games for Auburn. And so we got 12 personnel, right? We got two tight ends, one on lines, one on this line of scrimmage, one off. We'll go ahead and count this guy that, as a tight end here, and, and then we got two wide receivers out here, right? And so uh, Penn State's got. Let's go ahead and say what? Let's go ahead and say seven in the box right now. We'll go ahead and say six, six in the box, but one guy's creeping. And so this is probably going to be like a, a cover three look that. Penn State is showing in this type of formation. At the snap of the ball, watch what the safety does. So he's got middle, DB's got thirds, and then he's reading to see if it's a run. If anyone came out, he's either going thirds or he's taking him to man. So it could be man to the boundary. Regardless, though, there's only one up top safety. This ends up being a successful run play for Wisconsin here. So I just wanted to show uh, a different formation that Wisconsin has that that Auburn has as well and how you could see Penn State potentially play that. So if you can get the run game going, uh, then that's only going to help Bo Nix in the offense as well. So again, if you can get that run game going with that personnel, uh, that could be beneficial in the pass game. So here's Wisconsin N12 personnel. Again, we got two tight ends and one back here. Uh, we got Penn State again, one up top safety, but it looks like man under here as opposed to the cover three look that we saw previously in the same formation that Wisconsin has. So one up top safety. We got press man here, man here, and then we got eight in the box here. So uh, whenever you got eight in the box, and then we got what they got seven to protect. Essentially, um, this is this, or seven to block. This is a a throwing situation uh, for sure here. So it ends up being play action. He knows he's got to get rid of the ball quick. Penn State has pressure, even though not all of them went right. Uh, but Penn State does get pressure here. It ends up being a personal foul. Not personal foul. It ends up being a pass interference, I believe. Uh, but still, just kind of an example of another look that you could see from Penn State. So uh, they're going to try to confuse you. They got pressure. Uh, ends up working in Wisconsin's favor. But just an example of uh, another defensive uh, look that you'll see whenever Auburn is in 12 personnel. So again, different offenses, but I think it does a good job still showing what you could potentially see from Penn State against those formations, uh, just because uh, Auburn and Wisconsin, even though different offenses, have similar formations at times depending on the situation of the game and what down distance it is 
And so to recap, Bo Nix, knowing that Auburn's going to try to do some stuff pre-snap, but a lot of times there's going to be one up top safety. They're going to be cover three, might be man to the boundary, and kind of understanding that and then getting the ball out quick and realizing that they've got a good front seven. They're going to try to get pressure. And if Auburn get the running game going, that will really help Bo Nix. Uh, but we will see what happens Saturday. I want to hear from you. What do you think Bo Nix needs to do? What do you think the Auburn offense needs to do against the Penn State defense? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.